Ooh-wee, what's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. Um, some new, uh, more information. I have, oh, 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 didn't have everything next to me. I have some Burna stuff coming up, um, that I'm super excited about with some Olight stuff that I'm super excited about. If you haven't seen the last video I, pu I put out on the, um, Ned Foss stuff, tons, I mean, I got tons of Ned Foss stuff. This one. This one I'm keeping. This thing is bad, but I have another one that's going to be going out. Um, they gave me two of those. So, um, so yeah, I got some Berna stuff coming. And um, another really cool thing that I'm excited to bring to you guys. Uh, it, oh, balancing stuff over here. Um, this one, I, I put a short on. So if you didn't see the short, you're not going to know. If you saw the short, you're going to know I got a half breed blades knife coming at us. This thing is is pretty cool. Like a, a K bar remake by half breed blades. I'll go over my likes, dislikes, wishes, wants, and more um, on that one pretty soon. Um, that's cool. That's a really cool blade. Now, this is the purpose of this video is going to be a preview of some stuff that I'm going to be selling, um, but not today. Not today. This one, first of all, I'll show you this. And this one is a very specific reason that I have this. Uh, it's a remake of the 1918 Trench Knife. My fingers don't exactly fit in it. Um, I mean, they fit regular, like kind of this way. But um, there's a reason I have this one, and I'll end up selling it eventually, but... Not yet. Um, there's there's a whole video coming out that has something to do with this. But the stuff that a lot of you right now are going to watch this video and say, okay, look, I know you haven't started the sale yet, but I want this one. I'm not selling them today. It's going to be in a, a Damascus video. Oh, I just gave you a hint. Um, it's going to be in a Damascus sales video. Um, and I have four pieces that I'm going to do a video on specifically. Woo! So the first one, they sent me this sheath. Nice leather sheath. It's big leather sheath. Big for for the dagger. The problem is, I had to whip up this leather sheath because the one they sent me, whoever did the packaging, put the wrong one in the package. So I have one with a boot clip. Um, and... Uh oh, I don't want to show you the blade yet. Uh, it's it's tremendous. And this one is round, which means bink, 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 bink. It's not flat. So what I had to do, I had to um, cut one up and make a flat spot so this fits. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Of all the daggers I brought you, this may be my favorite dagger so far. This might be my favorite dagger. I mean, it is freaking beautiful. This thing is freaking beautiful. It is gorgeous. These um, blue scales are probably my favorite blue scales to date that I've I've gotten to um, use or see. They are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The Damascus is beautiful. Now the next, the ones after this are all Damascus. So I'm going to be doing a Damascus knife sale. And these guys are all going, but this one, I just want to show you, maybe uh, get your blood going a little bit, give you time to prepare, because what happens is I'll do a video on a knife sale, and I get a bunch of people that watch them at different times, and so by the time somebody gets to catch up to a video, because we're, we might be, could be three hours difference, um, the knives are already sold, so I want to give people a heads up on what's coming, Um this one, I'm not going to tell you the price yet. That is beautiful. That is freaking beautiful. I mean, I can say that about every single one of these. But, I mean, that really is something special. I was hoping I had my um, D-Bad Commando knife next to me. And there's a reason. So, this one, brown leather sheath. Mm, so good. Check this out. Tell me if that doesn't look like a smaller Damascus version of the Commando knife with 
backwards teeth. The teeth are forward facing. How cool is that? This is a sweet clip point buoy. And I found with the teeth going this way, it is really nice on the thumb. When you grab that top grip, this thing has nice finger grooves in it. You have um, obviously true full tang with decorative pin, exposed pommel. Um, this thing is pretty sweet. Another really beautiful, beautiful Damascus buoy. Just gorgeous. So we're going to get rid of this one. It's going to go, all of these are brand new, never used, never used. This one, the sheath is right. <laughs> it actually fits perfectly in there. It's notched for it. I don't know how I got a, a wrong sheath, but I corrected it myself. So we're good to go on that. The sheath, the sheath is good. And instead of being just a regular belt, having the on off clip, or you can stick it in a boot, do whatever you want to do inside the waistband. You don't even have to have a belt on you. You could just use this clip. So that's going to be actually a little bit better. Because it's a boot knife type thing. You want that kind of ability. Gosh, I love this. Love that. I was really thinking when it, when it came in. I was like, oh, maybe I won't sell this one. I'm going to sell it. So the next one. Crazy cool. Crazy cool. You got the these little tabs that got like faux bone on them. I think it's faux bone. It looks like it could be faux bone. Um, you got the braided leather. You got the black and turquoise color. And then there's this. Oh, yeah, that is so nice. You got the brass guard. You've got the brass spacers. This is so, I mean, talk about a hunting knife or just a carry knife. Got a coffin style handle. This thing is beautiful. Freaking beautiful. These Damascus blades are no joke. They are no joke. They're just sweet. So I got that one coming at you. Damascus all day long all day long and so one more now a while ago I did a video on a um, like a Celtic um, designed Damascus knife got oil on my hands and <clears throat> everybody and their mother wanted it they're like oh blah 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 and I, I just couldn't get rid of it so I found another one and all of these I could get more I could get more of these so this one is a little bit different than the one I did. I mean, the one I have that I already did. This one I like way more. And I'm going to show you. So look at the sheath, first of all. The sheath is awesome. Right? The sheath. Now look at this handle. The one I have is all wood in the handle. And it's got the Celtic braid carved in it. This is so much better. This is medieval looking. This is dope. Um, this thing is awesome. And look at oh yeah it's got the wicked clip that's right so not only is it a gorgeous and i mean gorgeous damascus it's almost like a ladder pattern um but you got the long clip so it's a typical western buoy you have the coffin handle every single part of this is somehow engraved and notched and carved and awesome and tooled it is just freaking awesome this the way they do that it's all carved it's like etched in lines right there and then the the hard rivets right there the the exposed rivets got the decorative pin it, the bone handles and you can tell they're real they're different on both sides this thing is spec freaking tacular um so i know they're, they're not uh, for sale tonight if somebody Gave me an offer on something that I know if I can't refuse. Then, I mean, I would take it before before the video. But um, until until then, I'm going to do a video to sell these beautiful, I mean beautiful, Damascus pieces. And uh, there's going to be four people out there, unless one person buys them all. Um, but there's going to be... At, at the most, four people who are going to be extremely freaking happy. These are awesome. All right, so I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that's coming up. I still have this big, bad, um, nasty Kukri House Kukri coming up that the Pierce has loaned me. This one is brand new. He's never even used this. Um, so I get to take some, some wax with that. that one's coming soon. That half breed is going to be good. I still have... 
the um, ocelot um, right here. And I was still waiting for the sheath to come in. So I'm going to have to contact and find out how close that sheath is coming in. Because I want to give you a full um, review, not just a half review. But this is, this is one of my favorite knives to look at. It just sits right in front of my computer. Um, literally just sits there. And I get to see it every day. So as far as the other knife sale, um, most things went. I have um, just a few. I have three of the TAC Commander knives left. Um, I have the Guardsman, which is the recurve. I know after seeing the Damascus stuff, you're like, so what? Um, and then I have the Protector, which is that full belly. It's like a machete shape. And I have the Knight, which is the really nice, uh, it's kind of like a drop point. Um, so I have those three, and I think I have, let's see, I have that little Sarge left. So I still have the little Sarge knife. I might do a, a coupling with this one with another thing. But, um, so that's it on all those. But, guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, those Damascus knives... Um, if anybody needs a big dagger sheath, maybe you're making a dagger, let me know. Um, man, we got some really, really cool stuff coming. Really cool stuff coming. All right, uh, that's it for this one. I am Donnie Bialdi. Till next video.